Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, he gets... <laughs> <laughs> so first question from Vince Sanity. Oh, Ooh, awesome. nice. Vince I like Sanity. It. Where, where, okay. What direction do you see the Yeezys going? Very broad question that we can dive into. So I guess he is referring to, you know, the new 2.1.1s that are... <laughs> that have been quote unquote leaked. Uh, There's so many pictures so out there. So it looks like they're doing ones. throwbacks of version ones, but with like version two and then some features on it. Yeah. So there's no of the already s- retro supply shoes. stuff on it, eh? Right. <laughs> I I don't, dude. I only took a quick look at them because I'm yeah. like, what's the difference? And then like I saw, you know, it's got like the basic shape of a V2, but yep. it's got like the pull tabs of the V1s, and they are in the original V1 colorway supposedly. I don't know if they're actual shoes or like fucking photoshopped or artist rendering of the pictures that mm. we saw. Mm-hmm. But what what do you feel about the Yeezys coming out multiple times a month nowadays? Like sometimes we get like two, three pairs a month. Sometimes we get one a month. But it looks like every, uh, Yeezys hitting almost every month yeah. now, right? Well, it seems like. Well, the next one's gonna be one releasing last. is like a all, all white, white, which is nice. Mostly. March was the zebra. March was the zebra. Yeah. Okay, so technically, yeah, we hit the end of the month with the. April's gonna whites. be the triple white, and then there's um on in May there's gonna be like triple an white. Earth version. Jesus. Of it. Yeah. So, so we're already getting that far ahead. So it looks mm-hmm. like it, it looks like one a month, man. So, How do you guys feel so, about that trend? Whatever, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> you know, it, it's being <laughs> no, it's I... being true to what he said that he's gonna be releasing like a million or something like. Well, releasing one every month is not releasing That's not gonna... a million. I think. Well, no, it's gonna especially be a, when you're you have getting like, closer to the the one million in total. Especially when you have all like, of them, but yeah. ten to twenty thousand pairs per release. When how many releases till you hit a million? I know, I know. And how many pairs of the same color of a different colorway of the same? <laughs> Are they running out of ideas or already? Yeah. Or Did you see it? the new one today? It was it was is quote unquote dark green and it, <laughs> yeah. and it dark just gray, like, dark gray. Was it dark gray yeah, or dark, dark green? green. It, I thought it's it a dark saw, green, and it was like, okay, that just looks like Earth. Like who, it doesn't look like for any me, of the other other colored. My main source then. for the the Yeezys are, is Yeezy Mafia, and they're pretty yeah. good. They're like ninety. Their batting average is like probably ninety five percent or whatever. Yeah. So they're pretty, and they they've called the the zebras and the triple whites and the Earth and and all that stuff. So okay, fair enough. But. To answer that question, they're just going to keep on spitting out as much colorways as they can. Right. Little hints of different details, right? And people are going to eat it up. That's so for what, sure. So what is the so the question was like what is the direction? I guess that's the question. So what do you what do you think with the the way the Yeezy line has developed over the last couple of years? Where do you think it's going? And I think that's kind of what maybe he was talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's well, a very broad question. Like where do you think it's going to go? You know, by next year, like I when you going, see changing or evolving, I or think they're whatever. gonna Yeezys are gonna go the way of this is a very broad example, okay, but uh, a comparison. But I, I think it's gonna go the way of the iPhone. They're gonna make subtle changes, little improvements year after year, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden they're gonna stop that altogether and then come up with something brand new and let you get used to it and start making it little changes again and again. Like mm-hmm. his runner that we saw, yeah, man. I don't like know that. what that's doing right now i don't know if that's like being resold for anything i don't know if they've shipped yet i don't know if I any of them are in hand yet it was like they can't kill it yeah nothing. exactly yeah I didn't, I didn't feel too bad about missing those i didn't even try to get those because i was working and shit mm-hmm. but i that's what that's what i think is gonna happen man like the v2s came out very suddenly yeah and they took a while to for people to warm up to but like now they're popular i'm yeah. not gonna say they're reselling as hardcore as you know the v1s or whatever but like let's take the resale value uh the market value away from this equation Mm -hmm. uh the design aspect and the way they release it they're getting more and more frequent so it looks like like i said they're gonna make subtle changes to the silhouette of each shoe just you know subtle little changes so that you can be like this is a little different that's a little different and then eventually they're gonna stop that look altogether and start brand new again what do you guys think of that prediction I think that's I think it's fairly accurate that yeah. you know right now they have a good thing going where if they just make subtle changes or throwbacks to other colorways that were yeah. really successful, yeah. But you know, evolving in them a little bit. Yeah. I think, in my opinion, the the line of shoes is gonna uh, reduce in the sense like we already saw it with like what was it the nine fifty and all those kinds of things. Like it, oh, yeah. it all kind of it's gonna get it's gonna come down to like what we have now which is what the 750 and the 350 i haven't seen the 750 or is that what it is? and wow. so i think it's actually trending away from that like i don't so think we're gonna see 
I think that's where the market is, and I think okay. now we'll probably end up seeing him branching out into the basketball line that he was talking about. Yeah, for he's a talking long about time. that. So whether when that happens, I don't know, yeah. and we can already see it. Uh, so we can already see like the influence of like the pattern on the easy and the current yep. uh, ultra boost yep. we're seeing it on the crazy low the explosive low yeah. where you're getting this sort of patterning happening you're getting the boost in the soul you're getting the ribbed outsole kind of design with it so i think you're going to start seeing that and then you're probably going to get into another life my prediction is another lifestyle mm-hmm. shoe yeah um kind of like what we've seen with what kanye released whatever that's called yeah um and possibly a lifestyle boot with that again I think, i'm done I with think the boots man really even yeah. adidas is done with the boots they adidas yeah. don't even make his boots anymore he yeah. has to go fucking outsource that oh shit. the the uh the 950 boots the 950s are are, are done i I'm, i don't think they'll be that they'll be like a 750 say, or lower like a mid yeah. like but a, there's there's like the rumored for, 550 there's room. that we've heard for a while there's room for it right i think there's there's a market for it. there's a room for it like whether i buy it or not or you yeah. or whatever if it if it hits the right design with the right color way on it yeah. people will fucking eat it up so don't the 750s but. are what got me into easy like seeing the 750s is yeah. what brought me in honestly the 350s are are dope the version ones those are dope but they're not as as awesome as the 750s crazy. for me right? for me the 750s are a very nice shoe it's a very premium shoe how many uh, 750s do you have i only have the one nice i only have the glow in the darks I, it, it took me a while to like warm up to it. Like even to this day, I'm like, well, how am I ever gonna wear this? I'm I don't have the fucking ability Dude, to fucking slay outfits. So with many outfits you can slay. That's you, man. Like today. you know you know how to oh fucking wear God. this shit. I don't. That's why the 350s are such a no brainer for I'm me. Just wearing, can, I'm just wearing. That's why I can like throw them on for anything, right? Yeah. What you wear the 750s because they keep you warm and dry? No, I'm. It's gonna be, bite me in the ass because I'm gonna say like, oh, I'm gonna wait for for the weather to come. Well, to yeah. get a little bit better, better, but then who wears freaking UGG boots in the summertime? Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> then mm-hmm. put me down for two pairs. <laughs> well, we just gotta rock them with shorts. The seven fifty is a very <laughs> unique looking shoe because like it's, it's not a runner, right? And uh, and when, when it comes to Adidas, we're talking about runners yeah. and trainers, yeah. and they have the seven fifty, which isn't an athletic performance shoe at all. Yeah, and that's why it, it, my earlier prediction before the the actual 750 was released, I thought that it would be closer to what the Y3 line was doing. Mm -hmm. Just straight up fashion and charge crazy amounts. But like, if you look at the retail price, the Adidas Yeezy supply line is actually less than Y3s. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But no one ever shouts foul with Y3s. It's kind of odd, man. People are so finicky. Adidas is definitely going to keep on marketing and and going to the 350s. Um, If you look at the evolution of the colorways for each version, Mm -hmm. they'll throw down one colorway that's like out of this world. Yeah. Whether it's the turtle doves for the first one or the or the the belugas for the second. Yeah. Those are like colorways that were like, wait a minute, like those are way ahead of 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 its time. Oh yeah. Just like Kanye's music, in my opinion. And then what they'll do is that they'll they'll create this like wow factor, and then they'll start going into like you know the regular colors like a pirate black or a regular black or or, mm. or a triple white or or something like that. I don't know what the deal is, but triple whites or triple blacks right now are super hot. I mean, they're nice monochrome. What? Still, triple white and triple blacks have always been hot because that's all you could ever get when, <laughs> like, twenty five years ago. But now it's even hotter have, because, like, with yeah. influencers, right? Yeah, of course, right? Like, I mean. Yeah. I, I, I have kids that I coach and they're like, I just want all black. I just want all white. And I don't it's care what you hey, what but... their what their trends are. Like it the, is at yeah. that age and then what they what they go for and what they want. Like it's... neighbor's kid, it's like he's always wearing a white hoodie. And I was like, Jesus, like a white hoodie all the time. Like you're a kid, aren't you gonna get that dirty? And yeah. I don't know. It's just like you just see just the common trends. Like there's a whole group of them and they're just like I can't tell them apart because yeah. they're all wearing it's the, all same, the same yeah, the same white hoodie or like and um, track like, pants like that are like tapered, yeah, 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 and that's it. And then what ultra boost, <laughs> yeah. I, I, the ultra boost thing is kind of I don't know, it's because the three are so fucking basic or whatever. Mm. But the popularity of those ultra boosts in the extremely popular colorways of before, they're not doing as hot as they used to. You know, yeah. what I mean? no. So I don't know if everyone has their fix of triple whites and core blacks already, but like we talked about before, it's it's not trending as hot as it used to. Mm-hmm. So. That was a that was a good question. Yeah, man. Thank Very you. Very good question. Vince Sanity. This Sanity. It's which over. Lead, which leads into Chris GG 1984's question. Oh, good game. Have we seen the Yeezy V3s and what we think? We just kind of touched on it. Briefly, um, yeah. Yeah. So I think it's 
it's a nice option changes. for the people that missed out on the V1s, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? People that missed out on the V1s goes, oh, the fabric and everything. Look at this thing, right? <laughs> Careful. It, it looks so, he plugged that oh. in. It, it looks so nice and everything, and I'll never get a chance to, like, get that color or whatever because, like, the fucking resale is so obscene right now. Yeah. So yeah. these three, like, uh, 350 version 2.5, the version 3, whatever you want to call it, unofficial yeah. name yet, um, it, it looks like it's a throwback to what a lot of these sneakerheads have missed out on. It so, actually, there, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say the it looks like the uh, Flyknit Racer because you can actually see through the mesh. That's really? Cool, yeah, in the photos. No, don't do that. Oh, sorry, that's but cool, that's, man. That's, what it, that's what it looks like. That. It's like taking that and putting the Yeezy sole on it. No, don't do that. I'm serious. Go look at those photos. I know, I know, but I'm just saying. Did I like, ruin it for you? No, no, I just don't like that because the one thing about the Yeezy is that I love that it hugs your feet. Oh, yeah. Whether it's you're a size, if I'm a size eight and I wear size an eight and a half with the version yeah. twos, okay, right. and uh, it's just perfect because you know, as you all know, scientifically, your feet expand when you use. Them. <laughs> no, no, the Are shoe we still expands. Doing this? The shoe Dude, expands. It's going to be. Lo- Are we still <laughs> talking it's, about this? Yo, it's science. You can't scientifically. Deny- if someone offers you a fucking valuable pack, you buy it. <laughs> scientifically <laughs> speaking, <laughs> you're right. There. He died. He dying. <laughs> now I know. Just uh, give me everything, dude. Just give me one of each. One so of each. Uh, when it comes to this thing, how, rank it between V1, V2, V3. Rank. Rank what? what? Am I supposed to rank which one you like the most? To well, the least? does it count if you don't have a pair? Like, it counts. Just <laughs> I don't have a pair, so I can't. they're all. I'm gonna. <laughs> they're all rank. <laughs> you don't like um, any of the Yeezys? Come on. Uh, if I had to pick which which one you like the most? I like the most. Yeah. I'm trying to look in the case over there to see which ones Not I like. Not which color, which version. No, 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 which version. I was trying to look and see which ones I like the most. Uh, cross between maybe the first. The Turtle Dove's the first one? Yes. Those are V1s. Those are V1s? I like those. Okay. Yeah. The most? And you then guys, and then the, and then the three. If I was going to rank it, I would always rank the version one Turtle Dove's just for look. I love that black. Out- nah, fuck the colorway. I'm talking about the actual silhouette itself. Oh, the silhouette. Yeah. Version twos, man. Version yeah. two with the pull tab. I was gonna say pull tab version twos are my favorite. Yeah. Because of comfort, uh, the the form and the yeah. fit, and, and I don't know. It just to me, it seems like I you thought we were ex- just looking at the silhouette, not the fit, not the form, and not. No, the, no, no, I don't. Oh, my bad. I, just, I, I don't. No, that's what he said. No, no, no I'm I talking like, about I don't know how they fit. All that stuff. It look. It okay. um the silhouette for the version two is a little bit higher on the heel. Correct. A little bit. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, because yours so. is a little bit low. Like the ones is more. The, it's more like this, where it's a little bit higher, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah. Well, I think the version ones to me, they almost almost feel like slippers to me. Really? Mm. Yeah. You, you you haven't tried on the version. I've one. never had a version. Okay. I need a, I need a pair uh, of uh, slippers. <laughs> they look super nice, but I think the version twos they cost the same retail, right? Mm-hmm. I I think you get so much more shoe out of the version two yeah. than you do with the new yeah. ones. Mm. That's just my thought. There's <laughs> rumors of a beluga with a pull tab. <laughs> okay, do it, man. I'll fucking buy it. <laughs> <I> <laughs> Belugas so, are dope, but yo, that means but the prices of my. Oh, my beluga is gonna go down. What do you think? Does, no, because no, it's just it be a very, it'd be a, like a. Oh, if you ask really? me, the belugas 2. are the very first version twos, right? So the value will always be there. Yeah, they'll have like that fucking turtle dove effect, effect eventually. Yeah, and if you ask me, if you ask me, like honestly, like secondary market resale price aside, I like the belugas more than I like the zebras. Really? Yeah, man. I agree. I like the color better. The I beluga- think it's just more shocking and more interesting. See, that's the thing that I can't get with the belugas. Is there's too, they're too that shocking. That orange was crazy bright for me when just I first got it. it. Look at, you can look in there, and yeah, it's man. like the yeah. one thing that draws you to any of those shoes, and there's that. Remember when they were doing the fashion show? They paired that with like a, like a Matrix-style orange. The whole fucking hoodie? fashion show was Matrix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like they just came out of that. What's the name of the ship? The Nebuchadnezzar. The Nebuchadnezzar. There you go. See we are geeks here. There. Yeah, oh, that's okay. So, um, yeah, sure. Version three. Give me some. They, yeah, no, send some more. They're gonna. They're gonna make some. Do more. Do more. Like I said, always over and over. I don't hate on shit. I don't like. Oh, I do hate on it. But like, I'm not gonna go <laughs> out and fucking start a crusade on telling people not to fucking buy it. Right. Yeah. No. Just if you like it, buy it. If you don't, I won't buy it. Exactly. That's all. And if you get a chance to get a pack, go get it. <laughs> <laughs> if someone hands you an assist, fucking take it. Just take it. Yeah. Don't don't be a con. Don't think about it. Yeah. Don't listen to other people. <laughs> make up your own mind. That's <laughs> a lesson that you have to yeah, learn. Yeah. You gotta make up your own mind. <laughs> so 
thank you to uh, Chris GG. He actually uh, made an offer to help me get those silver bullets. So what? Yeah, man. I'll we'll tell you guys later off air. All right. Um, next, I Brookie. Love- Brookie do Brooke. I actually talked to her a little bit. Uh, she just wants to be shouted out. So shout out, Brooke. What up, Brooke? Uh, yeah. How you doing, Brooke? So yeah, you just want to be in here. There you go. There's a shout out. And they just actually gave him uh, two T-shirts. Gave him, mm, uh, nice. gave her. Um, what is it? One of the the OG fucking box logo, whatever we call it, oh, and nice. a West Side Homie shirt. What West Side Homie? We got to make our own West Side Homie shirts. It was your idea first. Well, Ten, well you it, have one. <clears throat> I have a design. I have, yeah, I have, I have showed the, you guys. A design. I have the HSC orange one. Orange one. Yeah. So uh, who else we got? We got <laughs> Manny got? Rodriguez is back with what's uh, up, Manny Wings and Hort. Sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Shit's coming out. Wings and Horns Adidas collab. What do you guys think? The new one that just uh, came out? The NMDs that are the coming new? out. Or coming out? Or yeah, coming out. Those. Yeah. Um, it's a good approach to an NMD. It looks a little bit plain. I like Wings and Horns, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. they are. They're dope. Well, there's two, right? There's the light-colored one, and then uh, there's the all-leather version. Uh, oh, wait. I didn't see the, the dark one. Version. Oh, dark one. The, the basic one. No? Oh, because there was the tan one that has, like, what do you guys think? neoprene sock liner or something in yeah, it. And then there's are, a... we, are we done with NMDs already? No. no I think not there's, yet. there's a lot of life there. Sorry, yeah. A lot of life. No, lot of... not yet. We'll see. Well, see where it goes. People just got to make some cool well, shit. We were just talking about the White Mountaineering R2 is how none of us are really fucking crazy over them. Is it because of the that one? I, don't, I I actually I don't I actually don't mind it. It's yeah. cool. I like that. Did there's a lot of. Them? No, I didn't because just you know budget and because I have a budget. <laughs> Whatever you have a budget. <laughs> I do have a budget. I just, no, you don't. I just I just choose not to buy that one. I just you know, so you it's, know, it's my yeah. options. I just something else more important. Uh, <laughs> it's not the collab that I have a problem with. It's no, just, I I don't know. It, it doesn't pique my interest as much as. Some of the other collabs that's come out lately. Is there yeah. parts of it that you don't like? That you're just like, uh, I wish they didn't do that. Or no, it's just no. It's a, we, <sighs> There's more important stuff to cop. Y- yes, as in <laughs> I, I don't, ha- I don't have the brain capacity to fucking memorize everything that's coming out when. So. Mm-hmm. That's uh, why we have Kick Steals CA. Shout, shout out. out, but shout out. <laughs> it, uh, NMDs kind of yeah, yeah, yeah for me because I already have like twenty something pairs of those. And you should get rid of some of them. Who's gonna buy them now? I'm gonna take a loss. Fuck that. <laughs> I'll fucking bring them to my grave. I don't give a shit. Put them on consignment here. Yeah, I could actually. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go. There you go. So, will give you a fair um, price. Yay or nay on the wings and horns collab and MDs? Uh, right now, probably a pass, but I'd like to see them in hand just to see what they've done. It's hard to see what the photos are. The only way to get these in hand is probably to buy them, though. I know. Well, that's like ev- anything. It's mm. like we can't see anything until we fucking buy it somewhere, which is impossible. true. Mm. How about you, Pierre? Do you like? I that? like the collab because it's wings and horns, and it's local. Yeah. Right but the design is just okay. Just a sideways. Wings style. and horns, NMDs, or 2017 reigning champs. Wings and horns, because I like the the look of the wings and horns. the The look of the wings and horns is more. Um, subtle, just like their clothing. It's professional. Right. It's really nice and clean. clean yeah. It's ding, lighter. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's why I like it. So it's a little bit. And I the like the, that said, um, Dude, let's talk about. I like the weave pattern that's in it because it looks like there's slats kind of oh, running in it. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. And a neoprene like sock liner thingy. I neoprene is deal. not as ideal. As it's not as lucky. I'm guessing that's what it is okay. from what the and photo And dude, like, another thing too, guys, at, but... is that a lot of people are doing Ultra Boost and Ultra Boost collabs, though nice, yeah. been done before. Like, no one's really done a lot with the NMDs. So it's... Are you kidding so, me? Yeah, there's no, lots. <laughs> what are you talking about? I would like if to... If anything, sh- yeah. look at Livestock, man. They did a Pure Boost. Yeah, They're that's fucking... true. And shout, oh, out yeah, to, shout out to Raining Champ for doing an, an Alpha, Alpha Bounce. Although I don't like the shoe that much. Good on I you for lo- going and, and, and choosing a different silhouette. Of all the alpha bounces, that might be my favorite. Maybe that and the corals. The fucking the first one. Oh, yeah. The seashell. The one that but looks I mean, like but yeah. How about all these but local like fucking brands that are getting Adidas love, man? Yeah, yeah. they are. Haven, well, Adidas is willing to yeah. do it, yeah. Uh, Raining Champ. Yeah. Wings and Horns. Um, livestock. Livestock. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So Vancouver's blowing up, I think. Wait, I think, I think Vancouver's an important sneaker community Would so i have s- a question about cool. the yeah. collaborations and consortium do the only one that i know of that is like branch gets to branch out is kith and i don't know if it's because it's clothing as in it's like cross being brand. able to do other because he just yeah. released one that was with puma okay uh puma ignite or something like that okay um and so a lot of these other you know stores and stuff are are i haven't seen them do like a nike yeah or like 
it's usually with one particular brand, and I don't know yeah. if they, are they locked in. I think it's just a brand allegiance thing, you know. Yeah. What I mean? As in, like, is you it? play nice, we'll let you do it again, kind of deal. Whereas in Kif is like so heavily represented by one person, right? Yeah. So that as a designer or whatever you want to call, it, like people I, just want to work with him. Yeah, I man. Guess. Yeah. Kind of, it's, yeah, that's it's kind of like an artist, man. We'll true. Work for anyone yeah, that will commission that. the work, right? Yeah. yeah. Whereas in a, a fucking store, it's literally dictated by the fucking dollars and cents that you generate for the brand. So do you think Adidas went to them and said, hey, we want to work with you? Or do you think these stores go to They go to Adidas, Adidas. and I think say, Adidas, hey, we want to we work with know, you? I don't know, man. I think how it's are those... really hard to say. Like, the chances are if, like, uh, a Haven or a Livestock is carrying those brands, they already have a very close relationship. Mm-hmm. So degree, yeah. it's just, like, the right people talking about the right thing, and the next thing you know, one thing leads to another, and they get their own collab, mm-hmm. which I think it's nothing more you know complicated than that and we're seeing way more from adidas collaborations than we do from nike well nike does have their collab- collaborations <laughs> but they're a little bit obscure man well look at the off-white one with the jordan one uh, i don't want to talk about that just yet <laughs> i'm not ready to talk about that well uh, yeah okay we'll save that for another day we'll but i'm just gonna throw day. it out i there. want yeah. joe to comment on that one he loves well jordan we Lutz. know we know what he's gonna say already i think he's a uh, like a closet off-white fan. he is yeah oh that's gonna be interesting because like he doesn't fuck with theme shoes but it's a Jordan one. But anyways, we'll we'll save that for when uh, right. Josephine comes back. So, um, what was the question again? <laughs> Sorry, it was no. We were shouting out Brooke, and then we were we're talking about the wings and horns. Wings so, and horns. Yeah. And, and Pierre, y- yes or no? Um, it was a sideways thumbs. Sideways thumbs on the design, but awesome because it's a local collab. It's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, thumbs up for wings and and horns. Yeah. But, uh, Anybody local that gets a collaboration with a major brand, a shoe brand, is like. Props. Awesome. Props. Props, yeah. for sure. So, uh, next, uh, first of all, uh, sec- uh, lastly, uh, thank you, uh, Manny Rodriguez, again. Thanks, Manny. Contributing Thanks, all Manny. the time to the all show. All the time. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you so for So, we got Mateo, uh, Matty HW14. Mm-hmm. Have NMD lost its heat? Everything's related. <laughs> Have NMD oh, lost it's, its heat after so many colorways? Uh, short answer, yes. How about you? Yes. Yes. It's it's not only lost its heat, it's getting fucking confusing for someone like, even for someone like me that was so up to date with every yeah. NMD drop to a point where I'm like, what's coming out? That one? I thought if that already came out. If you can't call it by its color name yeah. and know which one you're talking yeah. about, then it's there's It's like, white. oh, it's triple white. Yeah. No, no, no. Just triple white reflective stripes. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, black and red. Yeah. Is it black and red reflective or the one that was yeah, the man. Foot Locker exclusive? Or so, the Tokyo. Was like, yeah, Foot Locker. It's too confusing. So, much. so it's not only um, saturating the, the its own market, it's also confusing like first-time consumers yeah. of this silhouette, yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. Do you guys agree? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I thought I was pretty boss when I caught my lush blues and then next thing you know there's like eight <laughs> colorways and i was like okay maybe i'm gonna slow down on this color like wave. at one point i was able to be like okay i'm only missing two or three and then like next month i'm like okay now i'm missing like four or five <laughs> yeah yeah you know like eventually you know like when you play a certain video game and you're caught up and then they release like a patch yep. or or some sort of expansion so you have to go back and do it again and then you keep falling behind more and more as the expansions come out yeah i feel like i'm losing to the expansion pack updates it's yeah. like Clash of With Clans. Energies. Yeah, man. You can... Uh, I don't want to talk about yeah, free don't to play even, games. Yeah. Battlefield, playing Battlefield and your character gets so shitty after a while. You have not to, play. They're pretty much forcing <laughs> you to... Not forcing you. They're <laughs> highly suggesting you spend real life money to of be course, competitive. That's where, the, that's where the money is. And these NMDs, man, like, there's just too many. Like, I don't know when they come out anymore. I don't know what colorways are coming out anymore. You can put two different shoes side by side and they will look so similar to mm-hmm. me. I, I can't tell the difference. And... They're losing my interest in most of these. As in, I don't even pay attention to general releases anymore. Mm-hmm. I only pay attention to some of the collabs mm-hmm. or some celebration thing. I, I don't know. It, it's I I lost a lot of interest in NMDs, and this is coming from me. And like I've been talking about how awesome NMDs were for a, for a year and a half now. Yeah. So if for for someone like me to be like, eh, no more. Mm-hmm. If, if they come up with a really nice colorway of a prime knit. Yeah, they, I don't have a pair of prime knit. Um, yeah, man, that's what they need to do. Enjoy. Make yeah. some G quote unquote GR <laughs> prime knits. Yeah. yeah, why are only mesh prime knits? Yeah, you know what I mean. I love that actually. Though. The XR ones coming out in the OG colorway with the prime knit. 
What's yeah. the OG colorway? The like black, the, the, the black, black and... with the blue and red. Okay, so the, the XR ones. The XR ones. I'd yeah. fuck with that. Yeah, they're nice looking. And they're primed it. it primed it. Yeah. Have XR ones come in primed it before? Well, yeah. and what it, what is this? This is PK, right? That's the OG. That's the 2017 OGs. Yeah, that's PK, right? Uh, yes. Primed it. Yeah, it's same Supposedly. same material. Yeah. I I don't know. It's was, was you know it's a... not it's not like the regular stuff. It's the primed it. Was there a triple black NMD primed it? Maybe I don't fucking know, dude. No. <laughs> That's the exactly the remember point. That, remember yeah. that um one where you had to raffle, you had to test yeah. it. The friends of not friends and family. Yeah, but the like, the what is it called? Triple the black midnight or or something like that. Or Batman the blackout. NMDs. The blackouts. Yeah, the blackouts. Yeah, man, those uh, NMDs. and it had the five hundred on the back of the something like tab. that. Yeah, yeah. Was there's that one that looks like exactly like it's sitting on the table. This yeah, yeah, man. Black. How many triple blacks <laughs> have there been? <laughs> You know when I told you I'm confused? Like, I don't even know what's what anymore. No. Yeah. Like, I'm looking at a couple of N- NNDs right now. I don't know which is which. I know. So, um, yeah. But I mean, maybe saturated. they're, maybe they're hitting, maybe there's the people that are like us that are more in tune with like the collaborations and the, the higher profile stuff. Yeah. But then maybe they're hitting the market with yeah. the, the general population of yeah. like, you know, the Stan Smith and the, you know, that kind of yeah, market man. where you're just like, here's an NMD. And they're like, oh, great. I'll wear it and go to school. And, That's the thing. You know, I got an NMD. That strategy you know? of that release, so. though, is just was really, it was weird because they released like nine different colorways yeah, for that. Like, let's talk about the Inikis. Yeah. Awesome shoe. Yeah. Awesome shoe. But then they'll release like, three colorways at one yeah. and then slowly stagger them in so that yep. I think that's a more manageable release. Yep. Well, what... I mean, April 20th, they're releasing like, uh, like three more. No, that's no, no, how no, they more, always more launch. Than more than that. yeah. That's how they always launch like a new colors. silhouette. Yeah. Half for women, half they for give men. you one or two colors of a brand new silhouette to choose from. And then they fucking spill like crazy. Yeah. Out. yeah. But that's, like, that's why the NMD is like, just like nine in one day. Too much. Too much. That yeah. was a general release, right? Yeah. yeah. And that was the first general release. And that was the first mesh NMD. Wow. So there was a lot of first in that one. As in, it's it's hard to really pinpoint why they choose to saturate it like that. Are they, mm. they're literally seeming like they want to be the Roshis. Jeez. Mm. I think I might want to bring my NMDs to Vegas. No. There you go. <laughs> Fuck them up, man. Just like, to, they're no, worthless just to, like, now. Just to, like, walk so, them, right? Uh, in a short answer, yes, they are absolutely losing its heat after, yeah. from initial launch. You agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Good question.